a few days ago here in the central Bakersfield neighborhood off of M Street and 10th Street. Two African-American males were killed here. Now today, community leaders and other groups came out and they're coming together, calling for change and action to end violence in our community. A broken heart, you know. Uh, he, that was a, he was a big part of me. He was a big part of me, you know, and a big part of the community and where we grew up at in our neighborhood. He was just a good guy. Paul Dean, according to his brother, Tommy Davidson, was one of the two African-American men who were fatally shot here on the corner of M Street and 10th Street on Tuesday night. The Bakersfield Police Department has since arrested a suspect, Eric Lavelle Nichols, who now faces two counts of murder. On Saturday, many community leaders met on that same corner to call for justice, prayer, and peace. Or to violence somebody took your relative's life or loved one's life at the hand of another black person with a gun. Raise your hand. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's ridiculous. I have a team of individuals with me on, you know, part of the Wendell Davis Foundation that, you know, former gang members, uh, ex-convicts that know that life inside out that have been there, done that. And we provide counseling and again, tools to help guys like that. More than two dozen people filled the central Bakersfield corner surrounding the vigil created for the two men. The group held prayer for all families involved and shared a passionate and emotional dialogue on how to prevent another tragedy from happening again. Passion burning inside of me and any woman that I can get to follow behind me that's what we're fighting against. We're fighting against no more. This is what my shirt says. This is what my heart says. This is what my soul says. No more. NAACP, Wendell Davis Foundation, and a newly budded organization, Mothers Against Gang Violence, were seen throughout the circle of people, connecting and offering support during the call of action. The Mothers Against Gang Violence shared that they have raised $1,000 for Dean's family and want the community to know that they're not alone in this journey of change. During the hour-long discussion among attendees and leaders, many shared that they needed more people willing to help those in need on a daily basis and not only when tragedy strikes. And they added that black-on-black -black violence and police brutality are two separate but equal issues that need to be addressed. Same time, in our own backyards, we have a problem and that's black on black crime. And that's something that we need to nip in the bud as well. Uh, not just uh, police brutality, but um, our young, black, beautiful men hurting each other. Hurting each other, and they're hurting each other a lot. It's been going on for years. And um, I want to be that soldier, and I want my members to follow with me, to put our foots down and say no more those community leaders I spoke with today share with me they will continue to push for change and action and they are asking anyone in the community who wants to help with this change to please join their cause and all that information can be found on our website turn to 23.com for now in Bakersfield Leslie Gooden 23 ABC News connecting you